Hello, good morning. Welcome to KC Video Devotionals for Couples. This is the 9th of December and I am Oni Elizabeth. Our topic for today is 5 Deepest Desires of Your Husband He May Never Tell You, Part 2. Number 6. I want you to flow with me. Yes, flow. Every husband wants a wife that can sustain a conversation. Be able to say something, at least something about sports or politics. Wives, don't just talk tomatoes all the time and then keep wondering why your husband enjoys talking to friends more than he does with you. It may just be that you are not speaking what is interested in. Wives should know a little about most things. Number seven, I want you to affirm me publicly. Oh, men love this. If you want to invoke a man's fury, then mess him up before his friends or family. Affirm him and then correct if you have to in the privacy of your room. Don't try to poke your fingers in his eyes in the public. He would catch those fingers with his teeth. Number eight, I want you to laugh more with me. All husbands want wives that would laugh at their jokes. Well, all know that those jokes can be dry sometimes, but laugh all the same. Those jokes may be repetitive, but just laugh because he is your husband. Nothing pains a man more than his wife, despising and refusing to even drop a smile at his effort at being a Kelvin Hart. Number nine, I want you to be discreet about us. The Yorubas call something Bebo, meaning gossip. Your husband wouldn't like you discussing family affairs with some special friend. It is not even healthy, as that would lead to adultery when opposite sex becomes a listening ear to the wife. Be careful. Number 10. I want you to spend with wisdom. Not all women spend without caution. Some men are worse. But even husband would appreciate a wife that spends with caution. Every day should not be a shopping day. A thousand shoes in the closet and a thousand gowns is enough to open a boutique. Spending and shopping would be an addiction, you know. Especially when the wife is dealing with some esteem issues but has a lot of money, she would keep spending. She would keep buying things she doesn't need to impress people that are not even looking. Some types of depression can also lead to needless shopping. If your husband is buoyant, it is still wise to spend with caution. May God bless your marriage. Meditation for the day. Ephesians 5 verse 22. ERV translation. Wives, be willing to serve your husband the same as the Lord. Prayer for the day. Father, help me to be sensitive to the needs of my spouse. Prayer 2. Father, I receive wisdom for my marriage in the name of Jesus. Prayer 3. My marriage is blessed in the name of Jesus. Confession for the day. My husband is the best for me and I affirm him in the public. I do not gossip. Talk more with my family affairs. I am not uptight with my husband. We laugh and have fun together. I have wisdom in spending and I manage the home with wisdom. My marriage will not become an adage. My husband will not be tired of me. We grow and glow together daily. Action plan for the day. Appreciate your husband's efforts. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international gifts, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at casesandus.com. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage, and these books are available on Amazon and on Kata Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandlovescom slash books. If you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch with us at Shouts of Grace Center. It's at Joker Plaza, beside Trans Amusement Park, Odita, UI Road in the city of Ibad. On Sundays, we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock and by Wednesdays, 6 p.m. It will be our pleasure to have you. Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You have a lot of 
resources for your soul.